Hi guys and thank you so much for tuning back in for another video. If you're new here, my name is Misha Cherie. If you're not, I think you're in for a treat. <laughs> As you can tell from the title of the video, today we're going to be talking about false scares. If you don't know what false scares are, they are a customizable way to achieve long-lasting lash extensions essentially. So they are essentially lash extensions that meet the convenience of being able to apply at home. So right now, you can't tell, but I am in between lash appointments. So I have a trip coming up. I don't really want to get my lashes done for a couple days and they were looking very scraggly. So um, this is where I typically like to use my false scares. I, like I said, I get I go to a lash appointment pretty regularly, but there are times in between where I just like to have a little mm, that's when I will introduce my false scares. What I love about this technique is that even though I need a lash appointment, it's my little secret and you can't tell. In order to achieve this look, you will need a couple items. So first you'll need um, false scare remover and cotton rounds. You'll use this product whenever you need to remove, completely remove your false scare and also any glue and or residue that's left behind. So just pour a little bit on the cotton pads, on the cotton rounds, and continue to wipe until the area is clean. You will also need a pack of false scares. False scares come in a variety of different styles, lengths, volumes. So you'll want to just make sure that you have the right pack for the desired result or end result that you want. You'll also need either the false scare tweezers or your own tweezers will work just fine. You will also need the bond and seal wand. So on one side it is bond and on the other side it has seal. And you'll know what the difference is even if you can't read because the bond is the actual glue and it's black. The seal is simply a sealant and it's clear. You will also want the overnighter false scare seal. So this product is used to extend the wear. KISS claims that by introducing your overnighter false scare product you should be able to achieve 10 days of wear. If you have all of those items then great just keep watching and we're gonna show you step by step how to achieve this look. Okay y'all so I clearly have done one eye off camera so I figured it would be really great for me to do the other eye on camera with you guys. That way you can see step by step exactly how I was able to achieve this look and I mean is straggly on this side like thank god for the false scares so the first step that i do is determine exactly what look i want because the false scares come in an array of different styles you really have to almost like map out exactly how you want the the desired result to look and so mapping out is kind of like a term that they use in lash extensions where they kind of like will say exactly where what length is going like where it's being placed on the eye so this is kind of like the approach that i took when i was um, making my own false scares. So as I've shown you guys, there's just a bunch of styles from anywhere from like something super, um, you know, natural like this to the lashes that I have on today, um, to even something like this, which is like more middle of the ground. But yeah, so that's the first thing you want to do is really talk about what style that looks like. Um, so for me, I just kind of use the exact same pack and I use, they have these like indicators for like short, medium, long. I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but there are like little letters on the side here for short, medium, long. I have found that four is the max. So I usually will do a small, a medium, medium, and a large. So that's kind of how I map mine out. And what I will do is before I even go into putting them on my eye, I go ahead and take them off of the actual packet itself and lay them out. That way there's no guessing game here. I know I'm gonna pick up the small, the medium, and then the medium and the large. Or if I'm going from the out, outer corner in, large, medium, medium, small. Okay, so again, step one, map out what design you want. Step two is to go ahead and pull them off of the tray and lay them out. Okay, so the next thing that you're gonna do is go in and apply from the Foscara little kit that you have. You have bond on one side and seal on the other side. So you're gonna go ahead and um, put bond on. Okay, so here's a really quick pro tip with putting the bond on. So with putting the bond on, if you read the directions that come in the pack, it'll tell you to just brush it on there and then go ahead and apply. I have found that I get a longer wear if I 
apply the bond section by section. So I'll go in, apply the bond, um, put it on, then put the lash on, then apply the bond in the next section, section, and then put the um, lash on. The next thing you want to do is pick up the actual lash on your tweezer, or if you decide to use the little kiss tool, it's pretty ergonomic. Um, I just use my tweezers because that's how I put on regular lash strips. So I just like to do it like that. That is, that's like the main steps and then we'll kind of I'll do these on camera with you so that way you kind of can see exactly what I'm doing so it really I'm explaining it to you and it might sound even complicated but once you get a groove and you start doing it I promise you I promise you I promise you it's so easy so, I'm gonna go ahead and put this is me putting the bond on you really want to concentrate it at the bottom of the lash because it sits underneath your lashes so the more bond you have on the bottom, the more secure it's going to be. Then I'm just going to take my little lash here, place it underneath, and then release. And then I just like to like reinforce by pressing it a little bit more. That's section one. Putting more bond for the next section that I'm going to apply. And like you can see, I have lash extensions. Girl, I don't even care. The bond is going right on over the lash extensions. Because that's essentially like why I'm interested in these. I typically wear lash extensions, but in between my lash extensions, I'll be like, girl, what am I about to do? I can't walk around looking like this. So that that's kind of where my false scare is really come in handy. And I mean, you can see I'm floating through this. Like, it's not really taking me any time at all. It's such an easy, seamless process. And I think that like once you do it, like I said, You'll be like, oh, easy peasy. Like, I can do this no problem. Um, I also want to show y'all how I'm holding uh, this, the lash on the tweezers. You can see, like, the tweezers kind of, like, out of the way. It's really just, it's like I'm not really choked up on the lash. I really give it some room because I know that that bond needs to adhere. Now, here's the part. With the inner corner, if you're like me and you don't have a lot of lash situation going on on that inner corner... That's probably going to be your lash or false gear that's going to fall off first. Just giving you a realistic warning because that's always the one that, for me, comes off first. Because I just don't have enough lash to like really hold it there. So a lot of times it'll fall off first, but I understand why so I don't even get mad. I'm just like, okay, cool. Time to add. And I also will put extra, extra, extra bond to try to help out because I know I don't have the lash there to support it. So now I'm just going to go ahead and put this last one on. And as you can see, I'm kind of like connecting them underneath my eye. The next thing you want to do is go in with the seal. And I like to bounce it on top, like at the root of it. And then I also put it at the bottom. Now, I don't know if you're supposed to put it on top, but I feel like it has helped me with like the longevity of the wear, so I seal it on both ends. Personally, I have found that it will last like maybe four days, but not quite 10. But anyways, you just take this and you literally dress it along the bottom of the lashes. Just brush it across. And it's supposed to extend the wear. Thank you, Kiss, for sending me the False Care Kit. Um, when I opened it, I don't think I realized how much I would be using this product, and I absolutely love it, so thank you, Kiss. Also, I hope this video was extremely helpful. If it was, please show a little gratitude, give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions, if anything wasn't clear while I was recording, if you couldn't see something just quite well, please feel free to leave me a comment down below. Um, I'll be sure to answer them. I try to get to them at least within like 24 hours, but you'll get an answer pretty quickly. Also in the comments, I would love to hear what style did you try? Did you go for a more natural look? Did you use the exact same pack that I use? Did you go super va va voom? How did the first application go for you? I can't wait to hear about it. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe. If you valued this content, if you thought that it was helpful, I will continuously be making more content just like this, very step-by-step -step tutorials, so that anyone from you know, a novice to an expert can follow along. So if you loved it, please, I invite you, subscribe, hang around, stick around for a little bit, be on the journey with me. Um, I would really appreciate it, and it costs you nothing and means so much to a small creator like myself. Guys, thank you so much for tuning back in, and I have really enjoyed showing y'all how to do y'all false scares. 
until next time bye you have a tantrum, I put a shape deal, you went and came